Hello guys, it's Teenage Marvel Fan, back in another video, and James Gunn recently did a Q&A on his Instagram story, and he answered a whole bunch of questions, not just about his upcoming movies, but, I mean, just like, oh, what's his favorite movie, and stuff like that, um, but he did answer some questions about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, um, and we don't really know much about this movie, but this... Q&A did reveal a few things to us about this that we didn't know before, and now we do. So I'm going to show you all the different questions in the Q&A that had to do with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So the first one, will Alpha Group be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? And somebody asked this because, of course, Vin Diesel, in a recent interview, asked, uh, he, he said that um, somebody asked him to describe Groot and guardians three and then he said two words alpha groot but then james gunn's response is i have no no clue what alpha groot is so i'm gonna have to give a pretty clear no on that so alpha groot is not a thing although maybe maybe when vin diesel said alpha groot he just meant like the most powerful biggest groot um from the versions that we've seen maybe even more powerful and stronger than he was in the first Guardians movie. So, yeah, we're not really sure what's going on with that and Alpha Groot and everything. But, uh, after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, will you work again for Marvel? I have no plans at all after I finish Volume 3. So, that's pretty interesting because back a couple years ago, he was supposed to be the head of MCU Cosmic. And he was going to go on to direct a bunch of Marvel movies. But because of, because, of course, of the whole scandal thing, I mean, I'm surprised he even got his job back as the director of Guardians 3. Um, but he has no plans after that for Marvel. Um, it would have been nice to see him do, like, maybe a Nova film or something like that. Um, but for now, there's no plans for him to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Is Kraglin going to have a bigger part in Guardians 3? Yeah. I mean, this makes sense, because uh, Kraglin, he became a, a bigger hero in Guardians 2, and with the passing of Yondu, he also got the Yaka arrow and the fin, and actually in some uh, in some set photos from Avengers Endgame, uh, Kraglin was there at the final battle, and he had a silver uh, fin on his head, whereas Yondu had a red one. Um, so apparently we're gonna see him as a member of the Guardians in this movie. Plus, you know, I mean, he's played by Sean Gunn, James Gunn's brother, so I mean, why wouldn't he have his brother in the movie for a big role? Just watch the original Howard the Duck. Thoughts on, on the movie and his MCU cameos? It's not a good movie. Obviously, I love his cameos as I'm responsible for most of them. Yeah, that movie wasn't great. That... That movie was not really good. I've only watched it once. Probably not going to watch it again for a while. Um, but I really do like the cameos for Howard the Duck in Guardians 1, 2, and Avengers Endgame. And I really hope it leads to some, something someday. Whether that's a Howard the Duck movie, which probably won't happen. But I mean, Marvel Studios could definitely do it better than the original Howard the Duck movie. Or maybe even a series or just have him become a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think any of that would be really cool. Because Howard the Duck is a cool character. I mean, he was supposed to get a Hulu series, but that was cancelled. So, I'm not sure what's up there for the future of this character. Are the characters in Volume 3 having a closure or a story that could be told in future projects? Dear James, what is the ending of your movie that comes out in a couple years? I actually really like that response because I mean, like, yeah, you kind of kind of can't answer that question because it's like, well, do you want me to spoil the ending of your of my movie? Uh, no. So, yeah, but I think, I think from what we've heard, this will be the ending of this iteration of the Guardians, and if we do see the Guardians of the Galaxy again after Volume Three it will be a new team, probably like a completely new team. Maybe it will be the original Guardians, like we saw in the post credit scene for Guardians 2 with the Ravager Guardians, with Stakar played by, uh, uh, 
yeah, I, I forgot his name, uh, whatever, yeah, he, he was Rocky, I can't believe, uh, I'm just, yeah, never mind that, but yeah, maybe it'll be that, or just a new younger version of the Guardians, like maybe something with Nova, or Adam Warlock, or Quasar, I don't know, will Peter still have a big role in Guardians 3? Of course, makes sense, I mean, he was like the leader of the team, Will Yondu come back? No. Yondu, um, Michael Rooker actually recently was in an interview. Um, he was on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast, Inside of You, and he was asked if Yondu would return in Volume 3 or if Michael Rooker would want to be in Volume 3, and he said he would like to be in Volume Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, but not as Yondu because he's dead he had that great closure, that great ending. He was my favorite character in Guardians 2, and I love the ending that they had for that character. Where it was like, he may have been your father, but he ain't your daddy. Um, and I'd love to see him return, but, I mean, that would kind of ruin the ending that he had as a character. But, like, he could always cameo in the movie as, like, just some random alien or something. How Guardians of the Galaxy 3 going? Is release going to be delayed like Black Widow was? Our start date has remained the same so far. So we don't know anything about the start date because we don't even know the release date of this movie or anything like that yet. Um, we probably would have found out something about that at Comic-Con, but that's canceled now. Um, yeah, so this really doesn't tell us much. I mean, so far it's not delayed, um, but that's probably because it didn't have a release date that was like set in stone like the other ones. If you could add another member to the Guardians, who would it be? I can do this. I think you meant I can't do this. I'm not sure my team would be happy with any spoilers. So, clearly, somebody, some new character is joining the Guardians in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Whether that's Howard the Duck, like I mentioned, or Cosmo would be really cool, because he was in the first Guardians movie. Um, or... The more obvious one, Adam Warlock, because supposedly Adam Warlock's going to be in this movie, and I assume he's going to be a villain, or at least one of the main villains, um, but by the end he'll probably be redeemed, and then become a hero, and then he'll probably be part of the Guardians, and fight back against whatever bigger threat there is, I mean, that makes sense, so I'm thinking Adam Warlock is probably joining the team. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 on its way, chances of a Guardians of the Galaxy 4? You said you wouldn't do a Guardians of the Galaxy 2, so... I absolutely never said I wouldn't do a Volume 2, as I planned to do a trilogy from the beginning if the first one worked. I have no plans to do a fourth. Okay, so as you can see, James Gunn always planned to do a trilogy with these characters, and that was actually very evident in the first movie. Um, I recently rewatched that, and like you could see all the setup for Volume 2 with... Like, at the end, Yondu mentioning something about, uh, I'm, I'm glad we didn't take that boy back to his father or something like that, like he asked us. And then that set up for the second movie, and there was just a whole bunch of setup for the second movie in the first movie, and he planned out that trilogy. But a fourth one will not happen, at least not with James Gunn, and at least not with this iteration of the Guardians. Like I said, we could see a new version of the Guardians, like the OG Guardians, or the new Guardians, just like we're getting the new Avengers, I don't know, like, who knows, maybe we'll even get a Guardians of the Galaxy series, like, Disney Plus, that's always possible. Will someone die in Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Yes. Um, I mean, this is kind of obvious, like, at least one character dies in every superhero movie, usually it's the villain. But for, with this, since it's the end of the trilogy and it is a team, I think it will actually be one of the members, or at least one of the members. I mean, it could be more. Um, as for who's going to die, honestly, it could be any of them, because like I said, this is the last movie for most of these characters. Like, they're not going to have another Guardians movie with these same characters, so you can kill any of them off, because it's not like they're going to return. Gamora, she's already dead and yeah you got that other version but I, I i hope they don't use her as a new gamora i hope they just keep gamora dead um but let's see who could die 
I don't know, maybe Drax, maybe Rock Rocket is probably the most obvious choice, um, because James Gunn has said multiple times that the big main character of this trilogy is Rocket, because he he portrays Rocket as himself, and he feels that he and James Gunn and Rocket have a similar story. So, Rock is the main character, so why would he not make a sacrifice at the end or something? Or maybe Star-Lord Peter Quill will die. Or maybe Mantis will die. Nebula. Groot. Maybe Groot will die and he won't regrow into a baby again. Who knows? We really don't know at all and it can be anybody. Um, But who do you guys think is going to die? Please let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. And what did you guys think about everything else that was revealed in this video? It's still on track. Um, Kraglin's going to have a bigger role. No Yondu. And somebody going to die. So that's that's sad. Um, th- this is definitely going to be an emotional movie. Because it is the closure for these characters. And the ending to the trilogy. But I'm super excited for it. Um, so... Like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. So I bestow all Marvel knowledge upon you.